the organism to identify that organism and in this way we can lead to the our diagnosis okay we can do one more question and then we can end it a 30 years 30 13 year old present to our pediatrician with fever malice and sore throat so there is a fever with sore throat you can th think about this uh, streptococcal infection or so you can think about the pharyng you have a sore throat you have a throat infection now let's uh, see what this question will, will lead to to which organism the physical examination reveals a fever of 103 cervical lymphadenopathy pharyngeal erythema or swab is taken from the tonsillar exudate and cultured on the blood agar up to now we don't know what is the organism we are thinking there is maybe colon bectum diphtheria that can be a stroke pharyngitis that will be infectious mononucleosis a lot of feature can be there this is the clinical picture but they are now giving a swab is taken from the some tonsillar exudate and cultured on the blood agar now they are narrowing down to you narrowing down us to some of the bacteria so they have culture on a blood agar so the organism that is grown on the blood agar is obviously bacteria the culture reveals beta hemolytic so they are giving you beta hemolytic gram positive cocci and a rapid antigen test is positive so this all are the feature of your streptococcus pyogenes let me take you to the this so gram positive bacteria that have this uh, uh, let me go to the streptococcus pyogenes. So, what are the features? This is the stadia, coronabacterium dithyric, um, streptococcus agalaxi, streptococcus streptococcus pyogenes. So, what was this? This they are actually this this was rapid antigen was positive. So, okay. So, this is the bacteria that is caused that is actually hemolytic. First, we have to understand the beta hemolytic organism is beta beta hemolytic organism was if you remember. remember Mm, so, the beta complete hemolysis is streptococcus agalaxi and streptococcus pyogenes and as well as staph aureus. So, these three organisms use, use your beta hemolytic. They are gram positive, okay, and they also they have the feature like they are positive to this M antigen, I would say rapid antigen test positive. So, we can do rapid antigen as well, okay. So, we have a gram positive okay, rapid antigen positive, beta hemolytic. What is your what is the major component of that protects the causal agent from osmotic damage so they are talking about gram positive bacteria that has something that protect its from the osmotic damage inside our body so what is the because we know bacterial cell from inside is unicellular organism that is hypertonic all the components pack inside the cell so they are hypertonic in comparison to our plasma which is isotonic so that if there is no osmotic challenge can be tolerated then the bacteria will die so they have something that protects they make them osmotically important and that is actually the component of the gram positive bacteria and this is a peptidoglycan so you have to understand you know the gram positive bacteria has the peptidoglycan whereas the gram negative bacteria has the outer membrane protein which contain lipopolysaccharide so in this way we can reach the diagnosis so thank you till now then we can further discuss in the subsequent lecture thank you again